Today, we're bringing back the series where me and my friend try to remake games in one hour, and the most liked comment on the previous one of these videos was remake Hole in the Wall for more nostalgia. Now, I am amiss to say that I've ever played this game. I have not until today, and maybe that's just because I am not an OG Robloxian, but hey, we're here now. Basically, all that happens in this game is it picks one or four people. It picks a team. You could get one person from that team or multiple, and then there's a random hole in the wall and you have four animations that you could do to jump lay down uh etc to make it through the hole in the wall and that's pretty much the whole gameplay so we're gonna hop into studio it is 10 40 p.m right now and see what we could do before 11 40 so first things first i think we need to bring in a dummy and i don't know where my plugin went to do that so to the toolbox i go toolbox uh dummy yeah r6 perfect we got that now we're going to make the actual wall since we only have an hour we're not gonna make anything like super duper complex i was really struggling to find where the part was right there all right let's go like this probably has to be like a little bit bigger than your body we'll go in one more because i don't want it to be like super challenging when we're doing the test so far so good let's duplicate this one more time bring it over here we'll go like this and then i'm gonna just grab all of these rotate twice bring it over here and there we go you can most definitely fit through that wall we are going to delete that part bring this up just like that and now we have our first wall let's group these together and we could change the model color to we'll just go pink because why not now another one i think we'll do a wall with a hole in the middle because that makes sense i do think all the walls are gonna have to be the same size and for the hole in the middle i think i'm just gonna grab a sphere copy the position of this part and paste it into the position of the sphere and now we'll make this a little bit bigger on both sides negate it and grab this for union there we go so we have two walls now guys and the programmer is already starting awesome so we're gonna duplicate this wall and just bring it let's make a little side piece for it which would look way cooler as a truss so let's get that on in oh really actually perfect man we will keep it a little taller than it as well because hey we might as well bring it to this side i think the trusses should be like black make some nice color differences in here and then on the top of the wall we can have a little area that i think i'll make yellow sort of a fall guys color scheme that'll work and now we need our actual path so let's grab this drag it all the way down perfect uh it probably <laughs> the wall should probably be floating just a bit so we're gonna bring the wall up just a hair there we go i guess we could bring those up as well and we should probably throw a little piece at the bottom of them just so they don't look like they're floating off of the ground so we'll do this drag one piece down perfect and then that piece we could go back to the yellow and then for the ground here we could do a red just really keeping like a lot of colors within this because I think that'll help it look the coolest So right here we have our wall and basically it'll slide in We should probably add the trusses to the wall. There we go Now this will just slide in and you'll have to try to match the shape. So up next. Let's grab this I'm thinking the path itself should be let's say like hmm, We'll do like a light gray I guess and then this will have as red now We will do the water behind you. However, we are just going to uh, we are just gonna have the wall kill you i think if it touches you and this gray is not gonna work let's do a little bit darker something like this yeah that works and this this is the core game we'll add a little bit of decoration onto this path there we go and this gray is really not suiting my fancy so we are gonna go for like a yellow we'll go and then this ah, i guess that could just stay how it is now we need a bit of a curtain in front of this which i'm just gonna use a block and we're gonna throw like a curtain texture on it since we're trying to do this as fast as possible this is just gonna block off the wall i think if we did it as a blue all right i think that will work for us the programmer's working on something over here as well very nice probably tagging all those parts with a kill command or something like that now we have this let's go ahead we'll grab this duplicate it and make the map itself we'll go something along these lines because we are going to keep it pretty small in the grand scheme of things turn off our proportions or our movement thing and we'll go something like this now i think the floor we are gonna do like a grayish white Ooh, something like that i don't want to go perfect on gray but this is looking pretty good now we'll turn our movement studs back on or our increments and we could start making an actual area to play the game so first off we'll make the walls we'll grab this drag it out a little bit this could be like a red put one over here and one over here now we'll make some lines on the wall just as like another decoration but these are not going to be red they're going to be a darker blue which I 
should probably just do with the texture now that I'm thinking about it. It'd be a lot easier. Let's see. What do we got in here? Anything nice? Anything fitting the fancy? This is kind of cool. Add texture to the... All of this. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty all right. Now we could have some more red things. So let's go ahead and do sort of the same thing the original game has with the cylinders. But I want to make them a little bit cooler. So we'll have this with our red border. Bring this out a little bit. And now we're going to do this gray. But I want to make it metal. Yeah, that looks a lot more mirror-esque. I like that. Group these together. And now we'll kind of paste them all over the wall. Just like this. And then for the last areas, we're going to go straight down with three mirrors. There we go. And I just got a kind of fun idea with a cylinder. Let's rotate and turn it. And I'm going to copy the position of this part. Throw it into the cylinder. All right. Now we're going to bring it out this way. There we go. So this thing will be pretty cool as well. We're going to make it a glass. Where are you at, glass? There it goes. Transparency up. We're going to duplicate the part. Scale it in a little bit. And then we're going to make it neon. And our transparency back to nothing. So now we have this cool little thing here. And, uh, oh man. Let's group that together. We can move these to the center of the others as well. And I'll see if I can have the programmer make those sort of change colors. I think that'd be pretty cool. And now that we have all of this, we're just going to group it together, duplicate it, rotate it. What are we doing on time? We've only been working for 13 minutes, guys. That is insane. 13 minutes and we already have this, which is kind of a monstrosity, but kind of cool as well. The texture, I'm, it might be killing it. It might be kind of overdoing it. Let's put a roof on this place. Let's turn off our global shadows so we can still see in here. I think the wall texture might be killing it. We should probably just use a floor texture. So I'm going to grab all of these and delete them. Oh yeah, already better. For the floor, we're going to put on a fun texture, just something that is nice, man. Oh yeah. Now let's grab this. We will up the transparency. Floor texture should be barely noticeable. There we go. And now we're going to add a little bit of uh, just some extraness to this path, man. Some more design that will just make it a little bit more fun. I think something like this would be cool if we did like a black or gray. Let's go black and then we can have lights sort of peeking up from this area. I think that'd be really nice. We're going to duplicate this and have each zone as well. So there is this zone, which we will do a darker red. That looks cool. And then this zone, which we can do in a darker blue. Let's put that to somewhere like this. Now we'll duplicate this part and just scale it down so it matches up with everything. Not too bad. I think I'm going to change these to the same color as the floor because avoiding black at all costs in a fun build. Black's just not it. So we're going to match those up. The trusses, I'm also going to change from black to some sort of like just maybe a gray and make them metal. Yeah, that's definitely a lot nicer to look at. Now let's see, what else do we want to do in here? I'm going to kind of just cover up the sides, but it'll look good. Trust me. Ooh, this purple actually looks kind of nice. We're going to go with that. Throw one over here as well. Oh yeah, that's looking rather nice. I guess we could throw a water texture on here. Let's go with, let's go with this one. There we go. And that's pretty much the map. Like there's other stuff we could do. Let me anchor everything. And I'm going to keep adding in some details and stuff like that. And I guess I'll just see you guys when we're closer to that hour mark and the programmers made some progress as well. Guys, we're loading in. It is officially 1140, meaning our hour time limit is up. Here's the map. Here's the programmer. And here, here's me. So we have this hole in the wall, which uh, is, as you can see, it's uh, it's massive. I don't have to do anything. The circle one. You have to do a little something though. And the game works. What do you want to say, man? Anything in the progress? Uh, this is one of the easiest challenges that we had so far. It, it most definitely was. This like the build was easy. Could have made it better, but didn't really need to, I guess. You failed the easiest holes in the wall. Now, guys, I will say we need more challenges. So if there's any game on Roblox you would like to see us try to remake in one hour, drop it as a comment below. And the most liked comment is the one that we will do. Make sure you check out this playlist to see the games that we've already done, though, because we, we've done a few of them. Anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up. Make sure to follow this man on Twitter. His link will be down below in the description. But like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day. Wait, wait, wait. Look at, look. Oh, oh did you leave? Oh, you got to tell No. Here you go. <laughs> Later. <laughs>